Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for clicking on this video. And if it's your second time here, thank you for coming back. Let me actually introduce myself. I did not do that in the first video. My name is Chelsea and I'm glad that you're here. So in the first video, I showed you how I shaved my head. In this video, I will show you how I put my wig on. Um, this is actually the first wig I have ever owned. Um, it's a wow African wig. It's really pretty. She's really beautiful. I'm just gonna show you her right away because you guys already in the thumbnail probably have seen it. But yeah, this is her. I don't have a name for her. I want to name her. I don't know, but she's she's just so. Is that weird that I want to name my wig? I don't think so. But yeah, she's beautiful. I think she's great. Um, this wig was not sent to me. I know there's a lot of girls on YouTube who have had wigs from this company sent to them. I am not one of them. So you have about four inches of lace in the front, which is a really decent amount. This is what the bottom of the wig looks like. It comes with already sewn into the cap, these little adjustable straps down here. Um, this is to make the wig looser or tighter. Then on the side here where the ear tabs are, this little black thing is, uh, this is where you could also stick an elastic band. I actually, I don't have the elastic band in there because I, that's a con for me with this. I don't like the elastic band. Like I like the design of it and everything. It just looks like a regular like bra strap, like a fish hook. And what you do is you hook it onto this and then you hook it onto the wig and it helps the wig stay on tighter, especially if you're not using glue. I know it helps a lot with that, but I find myself really not using the elastic band. Oh, and only complaint I have is I kind of wish, and this is, I guess, a little bit where I messed up, um, that I ordered transparent lace, like clear lace, instead of light brown. I figured because I'm mixed that uh, light brown would be okay with my complexion, but it's still a little bit, I'm, I'm fair, like I'm, I'm very pale for being multiracial. And uh, I just feel that even the light brown is a little bit too dark on my hairline. Even like I have dark hair, but um, I just feel like the lace is just a little bit too dark. And I would have gone with the transparent, but I didn't want to wait an extra 30 days. I've wanted this wig for so long. Everything that I love about this wig is, first of all, the color. This it's like sandy in some lights but like super blonde and like cool tone and ashy in others and i just think it's a really pretty wig i was really worried about again my complexion and this wig uh sometimes i do feel like i am a little bit washed out when i wear it so like i'll put on like a darker lip or something like that just or like maybe bronzer so i don't look so pale i did want to go in and darken the roots but I also have never had a full-on long blonde hair like this and I felt like do something completely different so I left her alone and I think for now it's okay. For my first wig I'm very happy with it. I think the highlights are really done well. I love it. It's comfortable to sleep in. I hope that you guys find this informative and helpful. So here are my, here's my wig tricks. <laughs> I'm gonna clean hairline. <laughs> all right then you put your wig cap on i put it as close to my eyebrows as i can i like to cut the lace to fit my hairline and uh i like to cut it around my ear you take your got to be glued uh free spray tried and true everyone uses it and then go in oh i hate this part it's always so cold I don't like this part. I truly don't. I dry the lace with a wig cap. I cut my ears out first. Just be careful not to cut your ears, guys, because that's not fun. After you get your wig cap glued on and cut to how you like it, you're going to go and you're gonna just pop the wig on your head. And then 
I just make sure I like the way I cut my wood cap and the way that it's sitting on my hairline. You just want to make sure uh, you like you like where everything is before you go and start using the glue because it would suck to have one part like glued and stuck really well and then you don't like it. Then I take this little makeup spatula and like I know a lot of people will use like the end of like their rat tail comb or like anything like that um, that's like not their fingertips but I just found this to be the best for me um, and it's really easy to clean and it's reusable so everything that I like. And I just shake up the glue really nice and well and I apply a thin layer on my forehead. I just do this and spread the glue a little bit on my skin, a little bit on the wig cap. And I do that all the way down my hairline. Then uh, I take my blow dryer and roll. Then I just take it and I just kind of lift it a little bit slide it to where I want it, kind of place it, I'm gonna back it up just a little, and then so I just have a little bit of glue, uh, so I'm just going to take some of that glue remover and go in with a little bit of gauze, uh, yeah, take a little bit of glue remover, spray it on some gauze instead of cotton because I feel like cotton just leaves too much fuzz in gauze. You just have a little bit more control and you could fold it thinner to get right next to the lace without getting the lace lifted cake a do-rag you could take a scarf a do-rag whatever uh, a do-rag just works a lot easier for me just so i don't have to finagle it around i just slide it like this and pull it back so i knot it in the back and i pull it as tight as i can or as tight as i can handle because i want my wig to really like adhere to my hairline and then I take it and I could see in the mirror I don't know if you guys can see it on camera but what you would want to do is take these tails if you're using my method of using a do-rag and um, take these tails and just kind of get it right on the hairline and then I tuck these under well I knot these just wrap these around one another and then I take it and I wrap it to the back. And I have this tight on my hairline because that's what I'm mainly focusing on um, is getting my hairline to stick because we don't want it to lift. And I would kind of want this wig on for at least maybe like two, three days. You could leave it on for two to three weeks generally is what if you were going to a salon and getting a wig install or even doing it yourself it says you could do it for two to three weeks um but i think i'm just gonna rock out two to three days because i've been enjoying not having to do my hair because i don't have any so yeah but this is also what i do when i sleep at night is usually i will put my do-rag on and tie it like this because even when i sleep at night i don't want the hairline to lift up and this is the most important part to protect is the top of the hair. I do that and then I usually would sleep with a satin bonnet, one like this. So what you could do is after you have your do-rag on, <laughs> you put this over it. Oh, this is such a look. And take your hair like this. And wrap it up. And then I have it wrapped up like that. So I would just take the back of my bonnet and tuck it underneath. 
and then you know you could either have the bonnet go down that low I don't like it on my forehead so usually when I do the bonnet method I rock out like this I look hilarious when I do this too at night but you got to do what you got to do for hair it's like you know all you are out there saying I woke up like this but you probably went to sleep like this <laughs> so you could do that or you could leave the hair out and just wrap it up in a bun I'm gonna let this wig this do-rag kind of sit tight right there for a few minutes and then I will be right back to show you how I style it can you hear my dog she always does this when I'm filming Okay, I'm gonna let her in. But Echo, you have to be quiet. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. You wanna make a YouTube video with me? Yeah. She's very, very excited about my up and coming YouTube career. <laughs> Come on, do you want a treat? I'm gonna give her a treat, guys. She's She needs some attention right now. <sighs> okay, guys, sorry about that. She is a big ham. She's a big ham. And I would love to have her in here while I'm filming, but it's just so impossible because she just makes so much noise and just when I'm editing my videos and I could hear her in the background going, ah, 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 it's just, it just annoys me. So if it annoys me, I know it's going to annoy you. But back to the wig. Okay. So I left this on for a while now. So we're just going to take this bad boy off. It's probably going to like stick to my forehead a little bit. Like I said, it would. Yeah. Which is fine, how that happens. All right, so then I just go in with some of that wig remover and I'm very careful with this. And I just go in and I just clean up the hairline just a little bit. And I emphasize I'm very careful because it is the lace bond remover and you just glued down your lace front. So you don't wanna already undo all of that work. I do also use alcohol just to get any like leftover residue or anything like that really off there. Sometimes, you know, it is inevitable with lace front wigs to not get some of the adhesive on your forehead a little bit with that. And I use gauze because it's just easier because it doesn't leave any mess. So yeah, you do that. So you could go in with makeup and touch up the hairline if you choose. I'm going to do that just <clears throat> a little bit. I don't uh, wear my wigs for weeks on end. I usually at most maybe a week and that's even pushing it just because I have the, it's a wig. I have the option not to wear it long, but you could get longevity out of it. It's just your private. But I think because I really am that girl that changes her mind so much when it comes to her hair, like one thing they can say about me is I'm always messing with my hair, but not anymore. I'm about that wig life. Then I just go and then I blend the lace. Next time you guys, I'm getting transparent lace. Like I'm getting transparent lace. because this part, I don't even want to put makeup down. You know what I mean? I just know, I just know if I had had patience and just waited the extra 30 days, this wig would be like a 10. I say right now it's an eight. It's an eight because F that elastic band, the weird, uh, the ear tabs, are just a little bit weird for me. Um, and the lace. And maybe like next time I'll order a small because I do think medium wig cap was just not what I needed. Like with the band, the medium is so tight. But without the band, the medium, I have to have it at its tightest. So yeah, that's all I'm blending it because I don't really care about that. That's just me. And also I think it's not really that noticeable the hairline. This is the final result. This is how I do my wigs. 
this is how um like I'm gonna have every wig from now on I don't think really I'm gonna go get my wigs put on I think I want to learn and master the skill myself I really actually enjoy doing this this is fun like yeah it took a little bit while like now that I'm getting the hang of it it's actually going a lot more smoothly but I feel so accomplished it's like really cool to see myself change in front of my eyes like this and just look so different I did uh cut the wig so I customized it like it's it came as a free part but has a side part I just felt like the side part looked better and looked a bit more natural and it kind of gave me just like a little bit you know uh something different um I added face framing layers um I uh yeah I added face framing layers I took I have a sheer kit um I'm a hairstylist so I just went into my sheer kit and I took some scissors and I cut the front and then I just took a straight blade and I, I just kind of customized it a little bit. I don't really think I'm going to go in and do anything further to, you know, the hair as far as, you know, taking any scissors or razors to it. So I can't show you that. Um, if I do decide to darken the root color, I'll absolutely film it. And you guys let me know, do you, is it too much of a blonde for me from root to end do you think that i should go in and maybe shadow the root a little bit and get it to kind of be more similar to my eyebrows like not as dark but like just like a little bit of a shadow root just so it's not as blonde or is this like just fine would i recommend buying this wig yes i think it's worth what you pay for it um the positives definitely outweigh the negatives i don't really see there's not really too much to complain about. I would definitely buy another wig from this company. I think maybe around the fall, I'll look into getting another wig from them, uh, mainly just because I want to save up some money. And um, I think by then it'd be cool to like try like a long wig with like maybe like bangs, like a fringe, something different like that. But for now, for summer, this blonde wig is where it's at. Like, I love it. I think it's great. It's fun. I love the length of it. It says it's 18 inches. To me, I feel like I got 20 inch hair because it's so, it's so long. Like, the back of it, it's really, it goes down almost to my belt. And the front just goes down just to, like, my the middle of my rib cage. I don't know. I, there's just so I don't know I, I I give this wig a two thumbs up it's a great wig uh if you're thinking about ordering a wig from this company or if you're thinking about getting a wig in general and you don't know where to go I say look into this company um just do, do your research you know look at other YouTube videos that have talked about this company I think it's quality hair I really have not experienced any shedding in it either and that's like a really important thing like you want your wig to last as long as it can um the ends have held up i've had it about two months now um and in the two months that i've had it very 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 minimal shedding and i don't really see any breakage it's really well crafted really good hair it's all about also how you take care of it and maintain it after you receive the hair um i did customize it i'm gonna always be wearing it to this part maybe i'll come back and i will show you it with some waves in it but this is basically it i like it i i love it i think it's a great wig i think it's worth the money um other than the few things that i mentioned um i don't think you really can go wrong for the price as compared to what i've seen online and uh i can't i'm looking forward to my next wig from this company like i'm already saving up like i know i'm gonna get another one i just don't know what what one but yeah so um if you liked this video please uh give it a thumbs up uh comment below let me know what you thought of it um any ideas you have any tips or tricks or anything different you think that i should do okay so i'm back two days later and i did my laundry and put the same shirt on just because i felt why not have the same outfit throughout the whole video besides the point um i curled it so this is what it looks like curled and um I also wanted to say that I went in and I just customized the lace a little bit more so I'm gonna actually scoot closer to the lens um so just to get it to look a little bit more natural um so it could lay more natural uh yeah that's it um and I also wanted to show you uh 
what it looks like curled um, and not just straight, just so you can kind of, like if you are interested in getting it, you could see it with a bit more style. And I did actually take it off today um, because I went on a little hike yesterday and I was just sweaty and it's summer and I'm loving it. So I took it off and I experimented further with the band and I still find the band to be a little bit uncomfortable, but I should have ordered um, a small uh, cap construction and not a medium and that's what I did. I think if I, if I did that, the band wouldn't be as uncomfortable as it is, but I have it in right now and it's really not bothering me too much. And I'm using the band today because I just didn't feel like gluing the wig down and it is also advertised as a glueless wig. So um, to j just show you, so it's like not glued down at all and I'm at not, not even wearing a wig cap underneath. So this is, in my opinion, for what you pay, a pretty good wig. Um, yeah, the only thing uh, that I don't like is the lace color, but that was my decision and the cap construction, but again, my decision. So other than that, this is an amazing wig. And if you're looking into a full blonde dimensional wig, get this wig because it's really nice. It's really pretty. And yeah. And now that like I fixed the hairline even more, I think it looks a lot more natural. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's it this time. Um, I hope that you guys like this video. You already know if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment if you feel uh, you have any better advice about wig wearing. <laughs> and uh, follow me on Instagram. And what else? What else? Oh, yes. Have a great day. Thank you for being here. And until my next one. Bye, guys.